There were moments where it was my, my mom, my brother and I in the back alley, hugging each other and saying, we, we need to give up or we have to give up. Running a restaurant is by far one of the most difficult business models out there. Not only do you need to have delicious food, a great location, and friendly staff, but you also need to always adapt to the ever-changing market landscape. Today, I'm gonna to bring you behind the scenes to one of the most beloved local gems in Vancouver, Anne and Chi, where we get to see how Amelie and Vincent have so masterfully combined traditional Vietnamese cuisine with a modern Western twist. Let's go behind the scenes and check out their secret sauce. An and Chi is located right on Main Street, one of the most happening streets in Vancouver, known for their many petite shops and specialty restaurants. An and Chi opens from 11 to 11, and their main clientele are those who appreciate the fine details of life and those who enjoy a nice place out without breaking the bank. Virtual hug, virtual hug. Virtual hug, oh, virtual hug. Thanks, oh. sister. thanks for coming. Uh, my pleasure. You're like, you're actually, I always see you as like a, a big sister to me. Like ever since I first met you, like I thought this place was amazing. It looks like a five star hotel. <laughs> no way, shape or form does this resemblance a, a traditional Vietnamese place. So I am super blown away. Thank you. We love hole in the walls. We came from a hole in the wall restaurant, right. um, but we found that like, why not um, be able to share Vietnamese culture and cuisine um, at another level where you can bring in cocktails, where you can like feel sexy in the space that you're in and like bring, bring your energy. And we wanted to bring everything together into an elevated, warm, vibrant uh, environment. I think it shows your customers are, are blown away. Ever since you opened like four or five years, five years now? Almost five almost years. Five Six years. and shy. Six and shy, right? Yeah. yeah. So almost five years and it's lined up out the doors every single day. It's insane. So aside from the aesthetics, I know you also have amazing, delicious food. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Um, I can't take credit for that. That's mom's recipes. Mm -hmm. um, Vincent's next in line, so she's basically handed off the torch to him. Mm -hmm. So it's like what you would have when you come to our house or grandma's house. Um, he, yeah, we just bring it, bring it together. The taste is very authentic. Nothing fusion, and it's uh, it's just plated beautifully. Like you know, like like the space, like the people, um, the food is also put together. Totally, we we see it with the attention to detail. It's just impeccable, and you guys. You guys have an award-winning washroom. How oh crazy, my goodness! How crazy we is that? We were nominated. I know. I was kind of mortified when we got that award. I was like, oh, we want to be known for our food, space, drinks, not bathrooms. But you know, it put a mark because the Senate of Canada actually wrote an email and asked us how we designed it because they wanted to change their bathrooms to gender-neutral bathrooms too. So we feel like Un and Cheese, we're creating a micro environment, creating changes that we want to see in the broader community, mm -hmm. but in our little hub here, yeah. where it's tangible and we can change, and then, you know, expand it out. Perfect, you yeah. know what, let's check out the food. All right, All right let's, go. <laughs> let's go. Now when it comes to menu, An and Chi is not your typical Vietnamese pho restaurant. They offer a large variety of authentic dishes, from shared plates to a nice brothy bowl of pho. But what truly makes them stand out is their signature cocktails and bar experience. No wonder they have lineups out the door every day. Thank you, thanks for yeah, preparing this. Like Absolutely. I know this yeah. is one of your most popular dishes. It's all over Instagram, it is on Yelp, it's in all the Googles. Can you tell me a little bit more about the preparation and what's the inspiration? This is a simple platter that you um, have variety. Uh, you, you grab your own uh, rice papers over here, you know, you dip it into some hot water and you gotta make your own roll out of it. So it's a bit of fun, it's a bit of interactive, it's something that's shareable. There's no right away wrong to eat yeah, it, yeah. so it's a bit of fun. That is a lot of fun, like for, for you guys, I, I know like Amelie really focuses on the design aspect and you guys are so much attention to detail on that and what really blows my mind is your presentation of the food. You guys are so impeccable with this as well, that everything you're elevating the traditional Vietnamese cuisine and giving it a new taste, a new vibe to it that people are really receiving really well. Yeah, and is that like, is that what you're focused on? I, I think really um, just to honor Vietnamese food, you know, um, to elevate in a sense of not stepping away from tradition and authenticity, 
but to present it in a way that's approachable and that's eye pleasing. Um, why can't uh, you know you have fine dining Japanese, fine dining Chinese, but why can't Vietnamese food be elevated to that level uh, here in Vancouver and in the Lower Mainland? So we started off with like at, at least our, our budget in mind was like 500k, right? Um, but of course that's nothing. Through yeah. the roof right Yeah, here. because you know what? Once you commit to something that this is going to be my career and my business yeah. uh, for the long term, your money doesn't matter uh, how much it, at the beginning because you're going to be here for the next 50 years, right? So wow. that's the goal. That's the commitment that I don't see a lot of people have nowadays. Is that like they're thinking about when can I sell it? When can I build it? Oh, profitable. But for you, that's a really insightful attitude. That's yeah. really I, I think for myself um, and my family, we pride ourselves with the history of running a restaurant in the same location for the last 25 years and my goal is to be here for another 25 years and then the goal after that is to have my kid take over as well so um, that is something that I'm very passionate about of course if my kid or Emily's kid doesn't doesn't want to do a restaurant that's fine right totally. but um, I think that's the commitment that's the level that we're at so why we do what we do I, I commend you for that that's that's really admirable thank you thanks for inspiring yeah. me yeah I can't wait to dive in thank yeah, you sure. Now, when it comes to the initial investment, it comes to no surprise that a space like this would cost more than usual. From creating an award-winning washroom, to the meticulous details of the ambience and decor, to the training and number of staff on shift, it's clear that Amelie and Vincent have spared no expense in creating the best customer experience. Look what we have! Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a Hanoi highball. This one? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. And uh, this one definitely has some of some herbaceous, something uh, citrus. It looks really amazing. And maybe Thank smoky. You. I like. They know. They know what I like. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you for, for coming. Me. Tell me more about this place. Tell me about the story of how you guys began. Because I know that when you guys first started, it, it's it's not your dream to create a restaurant. No, it's not. It's no. So our family, we have three siblings. Uh, one took the path that everybody, you know, the favorite kid, she went on and became a dentist. Then I was in public health and my brother was studying medicine. And um, so we all knew we did not want to open up a restaurant. We did not want to follow our family's path. And then when our dad passed away in 2010, um, it kind of shook our family. Mm -hmm. And our parents had a restaurant in this spot for 18 years and up the street for another 15. So like 30 something years altogether. Family they, business. It's a family business. So they've been they've been having we've been selling pho, pushing noodles throughout our childhood. Right. And we yeah. knew we didn't want to go down that path because we saw how hard they worked. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And when our dad passed away, that really shook our family, mm -hmm. and it, it shook my brother the most because um, he didn't actually have a chance to cope, and 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 you know he was in his early 20s in medical school and when he saw like what he what he saw was life is short life is short um you got to follow your passion so he dropped out of medical school and he said he was going to come back and take over the family restaurant wow. so we you know hit our head against the wall a few times and then decided okay we're going to support you and um came back and started sketching and planning and dreaming and um boring loans and <laughs> yeah and That's crazy. Now that you guys decided to build this, you know what, you're going to go all in. Mm -hmm. Tell me the struggles. Tell me that, you know what, you were telling me about your 18 hour days, 20 hour days. I'm an optimist, so you'll right. hear like the really quoted silver linings uh, but, through me. Because mm -hmm. I like to recall the good stuff, right? right exactly. But I swear I was crying, you know, like things in shambles. We, like, we, there were moments where it was my, my mom, my brother, and I in the back alley hugging each other and saying we we need to give up or we have to give up. So those so the first year it was really tough. It was really tough just it was a lot on at the same, you know, cuz you you have a team to a team to lead, you have guests to to um to really engage and yeah, it was tough. And that's with 33 years of experience, right? Um, but you know with anything now looking back, we're so so glad we did it, right? I mean, not anything that's worth worth it in life, whether it's marriage or a business, yeah. it requires work. And the harder it is, 
the 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 sunshine yeah, yeah. after the rainbow after it's real. Oh, it's, it's worth real. It. It's yeah. worth it. What was the first sign of success for you guys? What was the first sign ah. you like? Oh, this is it. This is it. We we we've got it. Okay. It's the turning point. So the turning point. So we thought we wanted to like elevate cuisine, like Vietnamese cuisine. We wanted to like have a really beautiful dining room, but what was the what was the success? Was I think our first year and at our team or annual um, team dinner. Mm -hmm. Having that group, I thought was the biggest byproduct and the proudest byproduct of opening up a restaurant was totally. like all the people that we've gotten on board to be a part of our family who, you know, is, um, I, you know, who count on us for, you know, yeah. and then we count on them. Yeah. And, and, and that, that was a moment where I was like, wow, we, we did something incredible. Mm. Because this became a platform where we were building people, yeah, yeah. right? It wasn't, it's not about it being, at that moment, it was not about the restaurant, the food or the drinks. It was about building leadership and community, gathering people and growing our family. Right, it, was, right. it was, yeah, it was that point I felt so happy yeah. that the struggles doesn't matter because look at all these lives that we're changing. And they change our lives every day. Right. Still till this day, five years later. That's wow. probably our biggest achievement is our team. Beautiful. That's that's amazing. I think like that's the common theme of all the successful restaurant owners that I talk to. Yeah. Like they're all saying that it's not the customers, it's always the staff. It's always the family that they were able to build, nurture, empower, and grow. And that became their biggest asset. It's like an extension of themselves, of what they truly believe in, their values. And that trickles down to the customers that they're able to impact, the community. Yes. So I think like that's spot on. Like you, you, you're telling us that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> tell me, tell me the, 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 the great and new plans for Anne and Chi. I know oh. you're sharing with me about your meal kits that you're super excited about. <laughs> I am. You are. Tell me about that. <clears throat> well, okay. So I have dreams. My brother, my brother is a very, um, He's a very practical guy, so he's like, okay, the restaurant, this is this is our bread and butter, yeah. this is us. And, and I'm always dreaming, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, we need to create these sauces that need to go on like shelves of grocery stores and in people's Ooh. homes. It's like we can get Worcester sauce and like ketchup and we can like go hoisting. Why not fish, chili fish sauce? Why not mom's like um, peanut sauce? So there is something validating when you have a bottle of your sauce yeah, uh, yeah. from your ethnicity in the fridge and it's like why not we have yeah. lots of western sauces so we've got sauces and we've got but then i was like oh but how do people know how to use them <laughs> <laughs> so then i was like okay let's make these meal kits yeah. so that people can have a taste of um you know how to use them mm -hmm. because it will come with a bottle of sauce and then after that you don't have to people don't have to be tied into buying our meal kits you can go grocery shopping and add Add, right, yeah, add the yeah. ingredients and modify it as you like. So we've got salad rolls, pho, Vietnamese crepe, and wow. um, vermicelli bowls. That's brilliant of you. Like you always, you're not, you're not like soaking up all the credit of your ability to adapt to the new environment. Ah. That's exactly why. It's because you're just adapting because of COVID, because of this, and you're like, wow, you know what? We gotta do something about it. And you just, you're always taking like looking a few steps ahead. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Great stuff. Thank you. Thanks for sharing all these like. Ah. <laughs> Amazing stuff with us. Like I, I can't wait to see and try out your meal kits. Like yes, so, yes. Thank you. We thanks. have to send one your way. <laughs> Beautiful. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. So there you go, friends. The secret sauce behind Anne and Chi. Amelie's philosophy is simple: always adapt to market demand. Give the customers what they want and how they want it. Thank you for watching this episode of The Secret Sauce. I'll see you guys in the next episode.